in this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. So we have a product, so we're going to use the product rule. However, this here uh, looks really messy. So let's go ahead and start by rewriting this. So we can write this as y equals, so ax over a squared, like this, and then minus 1 over a squared. We can break it up just to make it look, you know, a little bit better. Um, just, it's just easier to think about when we differentiate. A here is a constant. So y equals, so here these cancel, so we're left with 1 over a times x minus 1 over a squared. And then here we have the e to the ax. Okay, so this step, uh, you know, it's not required, but it certainly makes it a little bit easier to find the derivative. So now we're going to use uh, something called the product rule. The product rule says if you have two functions, say f, and then you multiply it by g, and you take the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here this is our first function and this is our second function. Let's go ahead and take those derivatives. So dy dx. So the derivative here uh, of 1 over a times x is just 1 over a uh, because this is a constant. It's like if you were differentiating 2x, you would just get 2, right? The derivative of x is 1, and you're just left with 1 over a. The derivative of 1 over a squared is 0 because that's just a pure constant. So this is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first, so 1 over ax. That's just the first, no derivative minus 1 over a squared, times the derivative of e to the ax. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so when you take the derivative of e to the ax, you just get e to the ax, times the derivative of the inside function, which is just a. All right, so what do we have here? This is 1 over a, e to the ax. Let's, let's clean this up, let's see what happens. We're gonna take this and distribute it through so the a's will cancel, so we'll just get plus x e to the ax, right? Because this one and this one cancel. And same thing here, except here we're going to get minus 1 over a e to the ax when we, when we do this, right? Because we'll lose an a, so this and this will cancel. And oh, look at this. <laughs> Wonderful. These problems are amazing. I love these problems. Look at that. It cancels and you just end up with that. Awesome. What a great problem. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.